Hey guys, it's LPS Honey, and today I'm going to be opening some new Series 3 pets. So, to be honest, I've actually had these pets for a couple months now. I just haven't really gotten around to opening them yet, so I do apologize for that. But either way, I am very excited to open them. I have a few things I want to talk about, about new and upcoming pets as well. So, without further ado, let's get opening. So, here's what the box looks like. It is super adorable, and I love all the little cupcake illustrations along the bottom. I really wish Hasbro did more things like this. I just think it's such a cute and really colorful colorful touch to packaging. So this pack is called Lucky Dozen. You get 12 pets included which are regular size, mini size and teensy size and three of them are hidden behind these little question marks here and then of course you get one special glitter pet. And I actually already opened the other 12 pack that they sell. It was a donut themed pack and I will leave a card up in the top right corner so if you guys haven't seen that video and you want to go watch it, I regularly recommend it because this deer is super adorable and and so is this little polar bear. So inside the box, these are our three mystery pets. So we get a little Scotty dog, a tiny little kind of like albino snake, which is really cute. And that's probably one of my favorite pets in this pack. And then also a little kitten. As for Teensy LPS, you also get a little lizard and butterfly. And you also get four more mini scale LPS. So you get a cat, a bird, a little, I'm guessing it's kind of like a Pomeranian, I'm not too sure. And one of those fish with the little lights on their head. <laughs> And then for the regular pets, you get three of them. So you get what looks like a little budgie, a hippo, and an angora bunny. So to be honest, at first look, I thought these pets were really cute, and they definitely are. The only problem I have with them is they're all reused molds. There's pretty much nothing new or unique about these pets. I actually opened an LPS pack from I think it was wave two and the special pet in that was a metallic budgie and pretty much all of the mini and teensy scale pets are the exact same ones you got in that pack just different colors so that's pretty disappointing you think that Hasbro would probably put some new designs in here because they put new designs in the other series three pack that I opened with the deer and the polar bear but for some reason they just got lazy with this one and only put in pets they had done before and this hippo isn't even new either as you can see it has sparkles and sprinkles on its head and this hippo this like specific design is new but the mold and the sparkles and sprinkles on the head aren't new because I opened a hippo from the kind of frosting series Hasbro did a little while ago and the hippo is the exact same mold I'm gonna go try and find all these pets that I already have in the exact same mold so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay guys, so here's a little comparison. Here is the new bunny I got today from Series 3 and here is the Series 2 bunny. So it's the exact same mold. They actually have the same pattern as well. Like the hair and the chest are both a lighter color. I actually kind of prefer this one. I don't know what it is maybe this one's eye shape i don't know this one definitely looks more feminine and this one more masculine so yeah i think i prefer this one but it's kind of sad that hasbro's like reusing molds already and i'm fine with them reusing molds like we have a billion short hair cats in generation two however i feel like this is a kind of boring mold to reuse here's the hippo as you can see this is the one we got today and here is the one i was talking about before with the little sprinkles and sparkles on the head I am happy that they changed the sparkles and sprinkles at least this has kind of like more purpley sparkles where this one has more aqua so I'm pretty happy about that and of course they are completely different colors so that does make them look quite different so here's series 2's little budgie or parrot or whatever it is and here is series 3 so this one is metallic because it was the special edition pet in the pack where this one just has the normal paint colors however I think this one would actually look super pretty metallic so I hope Hasbro does do more metallic pets because I really love them and they're some of my favorite LPS kind of color combinations. So for the mini LPS, I actually couldn't find my other version of this cat, but I am pretty sure there's a blue version of it. So if I can find a picture online, I will put it on screen. If not, 
I'm pretty happy that this is the first one. However, everything else was a double up of what they released in series two. So we have the fish. The one I got in this pack is the red one and the one that is from series two is the purple one. The Scotty Dog is also pretty similar to the one I got in series two. The one I got today is the dark blue one and I feel like its eyes are a bit smaller and the shading's a bit more detailed. So it does look a little better than the kind of white colored one that I got before. Of course the birds are also almost identical. The only difference is one is orange and one is yellow. Pretty much everything else is identical which I find really sad. They could have at least made it a different color rather than yellow. And then lastly we also have the little Pomeranian puppy which is also really sad because the colors are almost identical. The one I got today which is this one is more red whereas the one I got in series two is more of a kind of light brown color and it actually has better shading on the series two version but the eye color is actually identical but yeah I don't know about you guys but I think it's pretty sad that Hasbro can't come up with any more creative colors like there are so many different color combinations they could have done but they made the pets so similar and it's not really a different story with the teensies either the biggest difference is definitely the two snakes the colors are are completely opposite pretty much. As you can see the red one actually has a kind of white tongue which is really similar to the color of the little white snake which has a red tongue. So I actually kind of like that. It would have been cool if Hasbro did that with the rest of the pets and kind of made them opposite colors to series two. As for the cats I got the brown one on the left today and this blonde one on the right I'm not too sure if it is the one from series two but it is the exact same mold so I just thought I'd use that as a bit of a reference. So as you can guys see, not really much has changed. The main difference is the eyes got bigger and actually a bit cuter. Unfortunately, Hasbro didn't really continue the trend of making them much different as like with the snakes because the butterflies are almost identical. The one I got today has the blue wings and more of a dark aqua color, whereas the one from series two has a more blue color and purple wings. So the colors are just way too similar for me. They should really try and mix it up a bit. And same could be said for the lizards. The only difference is it's a slightly different shade of green. So guys, there is one last view of everything you get in the Lucky Dozen pack of the cupcake set. I do much prefer the donut set I opened last time. And like I said, Hasbro has definitely reused molds a lot with Generation 2 pets. And they're doing it now again with Generation, I think, 6 this is. The only thing that bothers me is they're not being very creative with the colors. They definitely could make them completely different to ones they've done before. Like with Generation 2 pets, there are a bunch of short hair cats, like I said, and also lizards, but all of them have different and unique colors. So I really hope Hasbro does more colors in the future rather than just changing it to a slightly different shade of one they've already done. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think Hasbro's being a little lazy? Because I personally think they are. I just really hope they do better coloring in the future. If they did that, I wouldn't really have anything to complain about. Oh, and also let me know which one's your favorite. For me, my favorite is probably the little white snake. He is so cute and I cannot wait to take some photos of him. And I actually also really like the Angora bunny. I think the colors are actually pretty nice and like I said it's quite different to the pink bunny that I got in series 2 so I really like that. So before we finish this little unboxing and I move on to my advent calendar part of the video I just wanted to give you guys a little update about some new LPS that are coming. So as you guys may know, Hasbro has been doing these kind of blind can pet blind boxes. I opened up Wave 1 on my channel and you guys really, really liked it. So thank you guys so much for the support on that video. But they recently came out with Wave 2. And you guys may have seen Music Go Pro open these pets up. Um, I highly recommend you guys to go check out her video on it. 
But I actually managed to find a full case of Wave 2 pets in America. So I bought them online and they are currently hopefully being shipped to me very very soon. By the time this video goes out they should currently be on the way. Um, but I want to know if you guys would like to see me open them up. There's some super cute pets in there like a little yogurt goat and a spaghetti cocker spaniel. Some really really cute designs. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see me open up another full case of new Wave 2 pets. And also Hasbro's coming out with Wave 3 of the Hungry Pet cans and also a new blind bag series called Thirsty Pets and it looks so 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 cool. So if you guys want me to talk more about those in like a separate video I'd be happy to because I am super excited about them and I kind of want to go into some more detail about my thoughts and everything like that. So yeah maybe I'll do that in the future. But other than that, that is the end of our little unboxing here. So I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you stick around to the end so you guys can see what I get in day 7's advent calendar door which I have been doing every single day for the last 7 days at the end of every video. And I'm going to be continuing it all the way till the 24th so make sure you come back every single day for an exciting new video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and listening to me ramble at the end here. As always, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to like, comment and of course subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye guys! Hey guys, it's LBS Honey and welcome back to another advent calendar opening. So today is day number 7, so let's find it and open it up. So, day number seven is actually right near the top. So, let's open up and see. <gasps> oh, another Hatchimal. So, here's our adorable little Hatchimal for today. He comes with a little beanie, which you can put on. And I really like him. I love the colors and everything like that. Actually, it might be a raccoon now that I'm looking at the stripy tail. I'm not too sure. But for, for some reason, they decided to put glitter on top of the Hatchimal rather than like in the plastic. So it might come off a bit. I'm a little bit worried. But for now, I think it's super adorable and a really cute addition to the Christmas Hatchimals I already got. We just need to find this boy a present. So that was day number seven. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow.